compiling the Gen 2 kernel on a 72 core machine. As you can see, there's 72 threads running. <coughs> See how long that's going to take. The compilation just started now. And there's the actual machine that's running the compilation. It's a Dell T7210 with two <clears throat> Xeon E52697 V4s. And <clears throat> as you can see, just nice to see 72 threads running. Now you can see we're not using a lot of memory, <coughs> only six gigs out of the 126 DDR4, 2400 megahertz RAM that's on this machine. <coughs> Let's see how, how long that's going to take. This is kernel version. Just bring this up real quick here. <clears throat> it's done in kernel version. <clears throat> this is the latest stable kernel version 6.6.67. And we just compiling it and installing it <clears throat> I'm just gonna come back see how long it took to compile this kernel here's the machine specs with you can see I got two Intel Xeon E5 2697V4 with 32 cores, 72 thread CPUs. There's two of them with 18 cores. <coughs> and as you can see, Okay, let's go back and monitor the compilation. <clears throat> yeah, still working on it. About five minutes have passed already. Still at it. <clears throat> okay, we're at the stage of configuring the kernel now, as you can see. And now we are compiling some drivers, <coughs> such as the wireless drivers, GPU drivers, network drivers. Keep going now, but six and a half minutes have passed since the compilation started. Okay, compilation has finished. It took about 12 minutes to compile the full Gen 2 kernel version Now running a post install grab configuration. 
And yeah, so for a total of 13 minutes to install, to compile, fully compile and install a gentle kernel on this 72 thread machine from around late 2016. Grab yourself one of these machines if you can. They are very cheap on a second-hand market and still useful for experimenting and playing around. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.